Okay, folks, we open open up right. This is Vino Black. We open right up, and we always know that we always see this and that planetary object there. Okay, they're there every time we open up. Okay, big object there and an object there. Okay, every time that opens up, and it opens up at what? What do we got there? Eighteen hundred. And watch the minutes. It's very important because you're going to see the V's, and we're going to show you that it's absolutely. Just watch the clock. Watch the minutes because this is minutes right there. Okay, 1900 hour in the minutes. These V's that you see right there, there is nothing man-made that flat travels that fast. Now that's just light propagated from outer space and pretty much got it matched up. Okay, so. I will try to freeze it as you see these are and it looks like light bulbs and it's the twist and you see that there darkness right there now that could be cloud but it also could be since there's a little bit of darkness back over here it could be the planet that we say that basically puts this off okay and we pretty much know I think um, I could be wrong but this is a known constellation here and the idea that this should be probably one of the super giants okay because of the time we got coming up and I'll hit play and you're going to see these streaks of lights and watch your minutes, okay? And nothing we have human made travels that fast. This is light propagation from constellations and asteroid belts in space and up by the sun, okay? We're going to be able to see that the idea that this, the sun's always where it's at all the time, okay? We rotate to the sun. Uh, we always say that the sun rises. Uh, we know that Rigel Cantera speed, more than likely the sun really doesn't rise. We just rotate it to it, okay? So you're going to see these light streaks, and I'll just basically pop back in there and watch the clock. You can't miss the clock. It's just minutes that are ticking, okay? And then minute, a minute goes by, and a V is gone, okay? That V right there, it's going to disappear. Watch. Just within a minute. See the clock? 1907, 1910, just two minutes, and it's gone, okay? A jet doesn't go across the sky that fast. Nothing man-made jets... The only thing that we have in our arsenal that even gets to that is some of their new stuff in satellites, okay? And most of those planes do not travel in our atmosphere. They get out of the atmosphere. SR-71 Blackbird, ladies and gentlemen, can go to outer space, okay? A duh. If anybody's ever read the stats on it and seen the old footage shots, SR-27 Blackbird is one of the awesomest objects we've ever had in our air arsenal and still probably is. That's why we always say that they're all locked up in a museum somewhere. Yeah, the ones that are wore out, but not the ones we're still using. Okay, so these streaks, and you can't miss them, those light streaks leave and are propagated from outer space. And since they pretty much match what we're going to show you or have already showed you the last two videos on what's up by the sun, okay, and also show you how they probably move by real fast of something they just blocked. Okay, we'll come back and play this whole Hawaii footage in a minute. Or actually, let's just let it play now while it's loaded, okay? And I'll move up away from the clock since you know it's all the same footage and you've seen those light streaks and how fast they come in and out and go away. I don't see the black object in the tail like we've seen in the past video. This is the closest one that actually comes out, okay? So all those light streaks, watch your clock. Because the idea, okay, there we got an object that went across the sky, and we have nothing that goes that damn fast, okay? Nothing man-made goes that fast, and not even a damn satellite goes across the sky that goddamn fast. So you're going to see a comet. There you go. There goes a comet or an asteroid. You can't miss it. It's going to be right in the middle of the screen in a second, folks, right down there. That was where light streaks, but watch. There's going to be a comet come across. There we go. There it went. See it? Just go real quick, and it's going to be right again, right about there it went. There it goes. So I'll play it again without the pointer up there, and you should be able to see where it's at. There it goes. It's no goddamn satellite, folks. Well, now, hang on. Time-wise, we got to watch the clock, because this is the first time I watched the clock on that object, first time I saw that object today. I wasn't really detailingly looking at it. Okay, so, well, there comes our... Let's watch our action, and then we'll pop back, and we'll see. So concentrate on the time, and you might even, while we're watching the player, you see here. And so here's our more than likely, as you can see, that there's something in front of, there is some object in front of, 
and then I'm going to basically we'll go back and we'll see our streak and see our time on that object going across. Maybe that, but it's so big and bright that how it can't be a sat damn satellite. Okay, here comes our object. So I'm going to follow it up. Take us up with it. And that's what, as high as I can get the screen. You lose the clock, but... So there is something in front of Proximia, Proximia Centauri or Rigel Cantaris B or whatever it is. You've seen the clock, and I'll still just show you the clock now. I think I can move down to it. Okay, the ends on the... Or I froze the screen, so let's move it down. And the idea that there's the clock when it, end, it left, okay? At 3.46 Hawaii time, folks. That's HST, Hawaii Standard Time. It was gone, okay? So, and it showed up early in the evening at... at Basically, it shows up right around 1800 hour. Or no, why don't I talk? 0100. Okay, right at about midnight, it shows up. Midnight Hawaii time, here comes the sun, which basically is Rigel Cantaris B. So they're probably propagating the cloud the cover that we haven't seen over there so to make sure that people ain't freaking out in Hawaii and getting on the phone and going, God, you should see what comes up in the middle of the night, okay? You might just have to be up on top of the mountain to see it too. Maybe they don't see it as much down below. And I really think that there's the clock moving away. Okay, let's go back to the, because this player works pretty good for going back. So I'm going to go back and I'll keep it down here on the clock. And we'll see where that doggone, that, there, where, there's where our sun, um, Rigel Cantaris B, which it's a sun, it's a star, it's our second sun, second, third sun, and there's more than 100. Okay, there went our satellite or comet or asteroid or whatever we had go across the sky, and I'll freeze it on it when it first comes up. Okay, there we go, as we've seen it coming across. So at 23.05, uh, okay, in 34 seconds, okay. So we're going to go back and play it again, and we'll freeze right when we see the lights. Okay, we get the V going away, and as you can see, there are probably other parts of the supergiants coming up. And there's another V, and then, then we will get that right there. It, that's our object moving across at 2302, so I basically do the math, okay? Because there, there it is moving away. So it's just another comet or asteroid that's not a satellite. I believe the, the time is too damn fast to be a satellite, folks. So we'll watch it move out here. If I can get grab the... There, grab it to bring it up to you as it leaves. Okay, there was Hawaii. So I believe this is the 18th to the 19th. And basically I think I clicked on the 19th to get that footage. Okay, and then we'll see what... the keep playing and see what the rest is on the rest of the video here real fast it takes up a lot of time to play a movie like this so I'll probably do one more video see if I can scrunch in what I'm wanting to show you on the idea that what we have found uh, the idea since they block something out on Soho uh, so we're gonna get into 6 a.m. and there's the Sun coming up okay so there and they even on the front this is what they put on the front they even look at it and give you a nice shot of all of the action, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. They want you to see it. They even put it on the front header. A whole shot of Proximity Centauri, Rigel Cantaris B, and, and Rigel Cantaris A. There is the supergiant sun, folks, coming in to Earth. And remember, folks, who is spending the holidays in, i.e., Hawaii, okay? So the the chief of staff, and now you can see there was three planets there, folks, that you can't, you can never miss. The idea they got that one up there, that there, and that there, okay? They're there every morning we ever see Hawaii footage, right there. And as I back it up, there, there, and there, okay? There is a V there all the time in Hawaii right now, okay? So we've got a V moving in, and we get Supergiant's sun coming in. And the president's going to be over here to watch all this. And as I showed you, you get star action from outer space. Let's show you where that's from, these Vs. See those Vs? Okay, those are so fast. Watch the minutes now. Where This is where they come from. And what's good about this, folks, is they blocked it out. So we wanted to tell anybody at Soho or whatever, for thanks for blocking it out. So if you blow it up, and you will also see a star that stays down here by the clock numbers, too, that they don't block yet. 
we'll see what they end up doing in the future and then so I'll go ahead and get back to it and there you go that's how you run the clock and we go front and back and there you go and then step and that's before okay so you can see what they block out and I've got it on pictures what they block out and what it amounts to is it is is that you see that they turn this shot on when on the civilian Soho and that is what you got is a super giant's belt up there and Soho is shooting it for you because this is three behind and three behind is situated over to the idea we're in earth and we are down here somewhere and the idea this is super giants material okay because really they're not giving you a total behind shot from Soho as I can always show you from so, so, so and if you watch my last video folks when they said it was a 23rd it wasn't the 23rd yet over there and even right now it's not the 23rd because you can see the UTC time right here that I just popping up in front of the screen right here it's 1844 over there or and I can even refresh this let me refresh it's 1908 Zulu and you got an earthquake up there on the and up at and up at uh, Alaska on the Aleutians somewhere in Alaska 2.5 okay and we've had a lot of quakes there was a quake east coast there as you can see East Coast quake, and there was some New Madrid and some other action in uh, quake action a while back. There you go. I'll pop them up. So the U.S. has been getting some quakes, not very well reported either. And as you can see, you can see the loop coming down through. So we're getting earthquakes, folks. There's up to now. And there's what's been there for the week or longer. So I.E. the pictures that I took was from the 21st. Okay, and as you can see, they're not showing the 21st player anymore, so they're hiding the scientific or getting ordered to because the idea you can see they changed the clock time because we know even right now, as you see here, it's 1908. Okay, it's 1908, folks. They're even trying to hide that. 1908, folks, it's not even the 23rd over there yet. Okay, it's only the 22nd here, Central Standard Time. It's not the 23rd even over in England yet, right now. Okay, 1908. So that's a picture that's archived for more than likely this was probably either the 21st or the 22nd that I already showed you. Now I'm blowing up to a thousand percent, but this is what they hide and that object right there is what they're hiding, which is showing up even stronger. And as you can see, uh, if you, it's, and I even noticed that the light rays that I showed you in the last video of what we show you up and let's go up to the sun and show you but you can see that this propagates down to the ground and it's our terahydrons, tetrahydron or triangulation. And at the 1800 hour, is what they blocked out a couple of days ago, and the idea, let's, and you can see that it is down to the ground there, and that could be actually a uh, up above in the sky object. That one up there is for sure, and that's what I blow it up to a thousand there for you. And it's the time frame that that's what they didn't show us a couple of days ago. So I'm going to study these some more, maybe another video, but otherwise, if I don't see nothing. So IV, this video here, I mean, this basically, this is shot that I still have, and I'll give you a refresh on three. But we have seen this, that more than likely this is either Lovejoy or Mercury on fire. And we know that these are not satellites. And basically this is what this, uh, the, the uh, three videos ago, I show you that the idea that there's a swirl in these, okay? There is a swirl in those. So IE, make sure you look here and see what they block out on you. And I think I can step it real fast and go back in 1706 so you can keep an eye on this thing and basically it's a strobe it strobes folks and they're trying to block it out because basically it is the super giants and the objects that you are seeing that have those big big old twizzlers let me go to photo so in my last video you didn't see these light streaks but if you go to the actual kt station you will see and then this is part of these light strobes that they're not letting us see this action that's going on up there Okay, and there's a V action. Basically, if you're a farmer, it looks like a harrow. Okay, when I say a harrow, you guys know what a harrow is. If you anybody's a farm community, it looks like a harrow. What's a harrow is a head, a metal head that goes in the ground, and you use it for tilling modern day. Okay, and there's our loopers, and those light streaks is what, and more than likely that could be Comet Lovejoy moving away. Either that or it's a planet, very interesting object that stays around up in the Soho sun shots. Okay. So these streaks of light are basically being seen at Casey Station down there. And these Twizzlers, let me get to that. So this is what they're blocking out on the blue shots. Okay? They're blocking out this stuff because they're planets. You can see planets and they have stuff that triangulates around them. 
and this is basically this that shot there okay so they're blocking this stuff out yes this was today and more next video